is up YouTube hope you're having a wonderful day it is freezing here so I'm gonna keep moving it is so cold I don't know what the temperature is but over there it actually looks like the water is freezing in the pond so it's cold yes today we're gonna call this the Arctic nine yeah Arctic nine we are just gonna go play nine holes and see how well we can shoot kind of talk through some of the shots along the way and try to stay warm Number 10 right here, par three, playing about 175 yards, but with the temperatures, the ball isn't gonna be flying as far. Probably gonna need to club up on every shot today. Probably gonna be hitting a seven iron here, especially since we didn't warm up. We did stretch, but no warm up. We're gonna let it fly right here, back nine here at Nashville Golf, number 10. good right there we'll take that for the first swing of the day walking up here just a little short good line we'll take that on the first swing of the day probably could have gone after that seven iron a bit harder but we will take that good start one for one on green in reg Just wanted to let y'all know that 100% of putts that don't get to the hole don't go in. I work very hard on putting inside of six feet. That way I have the confidence on the comeback putts to hole them. That way I can give them a better chance of going in by getting into the hole. Number 11 here, par four, about 420 yards I believe from this tee box. We're gonna let it fly. We're gonna hit this, and then hopefully we'll see you in the fairway. I don't know if you can see that castle off in the distance. That is our target line. Left it a little out right, should be fine. Not sure if you could hear from there. My back popped about five times on that swing. So. Hopefully we're gonna get a little more loose here in the next couple holes, make some birds coming in. 115 yards, a little downhill, gonna hit a smooth sand wedge. Came out just a little short, thought it might release a bit for us because this is sloping downhill. Normally does release a little bit, but we are left with a long one here for the bird. Let's give it a good run. The new rules allow for us to leave the flag stick in here in 2019. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We also don't have anyone here to tend it for us. So we're pretty much left with no options. Let's roll it in. That is the longest putt I believe we have made here on YouTube. Pretty hype about that. That also was a very difficult putt. That thing broke maybe 10 feet. So what a way to start the Arctic nine, par on 10, birdie on 11, one under. Number 12, par four, little dog leg right. The green sits off back there, but we're actually gonna be aiming right over in there. Take it over the corner of the bunker about 410 yards from here. Hit that drive well, little butter cut. I believe we found the fairway. I think I see it up there. Yes, should set ourselves up for a great look into the green. I also have a question for you. What is the longest putt you've ever made? Comment below, let me know. Longest putt I've ever made, I think was roughly about 150 feet. It actually made it on ESPN Top 10 Sports Center, which was pretty cool. I'm gonna post a video right here for you to take a look.
here is the putt. Are you kidding me? I think we got a little overhyped on that putt back there. That was not a good swing. We missed the green. It's a pretty easy approach shot. We pulled it. Yeah. We're gonna have to get this up and down now. If you have green to work with, Use a lower lofted club. Get the ball rolling onto the green. Treat it like a putt as much as you can. For this shot here, got green to work with. Do need to get it up a little bit because we've got a little grass in between the ball and the edge of the green. So I'm gonna use a gap wedge here. A little short, could have hit it a little harder. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well, maybe, but we were trying to be cool there, but yeah. Putter is hot today. Yes, it is. Let's read it, roll it, and hole it. Yeah, hopefully for six more holes. Let's just, the birdie barrage is about to happen. I've got a good feeling. Need to hit it a little better to give ourselves some looks. But that's also why we practice the short game, get very good at the easy, straightforward up and downs. That was one there. We hit the chip okay. It was about maybe six and a half feet short, but we made the putt and that's why we practice. Short game, short game, short game. Favorite hole on the course, 13, par five, dog leg right. The green sits kind of up back up the hill, somewhere in there. Our line is going to be somewhere right in there to set ourselves up for a look at the green in two. About 235 yards straight up the hill. Perfect drive right there. Very happy with that swing. Up the hill into the breeze. Probably playing close to 250, maybe even 255, full send with the hybrid. That was another not great swing. We are really hit or miss at the moment on our swings. Hit a couple good drives. Approaches have been pretty miserable. Uh, I couldn't tell if y'all could see that there. Uh, we missed out like 40 yards right. Uh, it's about pin high, but that was not what we were looking for. There's the ball right there, and I'm gonna show you. This pin is just over this bunker, so pretty much where you don't wanna hit it is exactly where we hit it. You pretty much miss it anywhere else and you're gonna have a much easier shot. We've left ourselves about nothing. So <laughs> let's make sure we just give ourselves a look at bird. Let's get on the green. When you're in trouble like that, go ahead, take your medicine get it onto the green, even if it's well long. I think we've got about 30 feet left there for our bird, but go ahead, make sure you get it onto the green. Don't leave it short when you're in trouble. Don't make a bad situation even worse. Number 14, short par three, about 125 yards, little into the breeze. I'm gonna go put the camera behind the hole to give you a little look at the green and the approach shot coming into it. 
We do not have a great track record when I do this of keeping the ball in frame. So hopefully we can keep the ball in frame and stick it close. Yes, we need to work on our ball striking. It is cold, ball's not quite flying as far, but I did take extra club there and just didn't hit it very well. Through 14, which was our fifth hole of the day. We are one under, par back there, two putt. Last two holes were two putt pars. On to 15, par five, little dog leg left. It really just kind of bends around the trees on the left. Tee it high, let it fly. Was in between clubs there. You don't really want to be long, especially to a back pin. So just wanted to lay it up for an easy little pitch shot with a wedge to get this up and down for our bird. Not a great little pitch shot there. And I went against everything that I was telling y'all earlier and make sure and get your putt to the hole. We did not do that there. It was not a good putt. Uh, that was another two putt par. One under through 15, on to 16. Y'all are gonna have to help me watch this ball. It is dead into the sun, glaring big time. So it's gonna be tough to see it. Need your help. See if we can't spot it together. I asked for your help and then I put the camera angle to where you couldn't even see it. So I appreciate it. However, I tried to set up the camera so you could try to follow it, but the sun was glaring so hard, you actually couldn't see anything. So that was the reason for that camera angle. We hit that one pretty decent. I'm pretty sure it's in the fairway, should be. We're gonna go find it. Our irons and wedges today have not been very good. We need to get this up and down to keep it under par for today's round. one under on today's round with a par there on 16 it was a par four par three here number 17 our eighth hole of the day about 180 yards slightly downhill but plays pretty flat probably going to be hitting a seven iron here in these cold conditions no wind now pretty silent on the breeze Finally hit a good iron shot today. That gives ourselves a great look at bird. That's what we are looking for right there. Divot right there, ball right there, hole location right there. We'll take it all day long.
Number 18 here, par five. Wanna hit it right through that little gap of those trees right there. Tee it high, let it fly is the name of the game here on 18. Push that one right, gonna be laying up. We're not gonna be in position to go for this green. I sure will be glad to head to Florida for some warmer temperatures next week. We're gonna be heading down to the PGA show. I'm very excited about that. Hopefully I get to swing in some short sleeves and shorts. That's what we're hoping for. I'm not sure what the temperature is gonna be like, but it's gotta be warmer than here. When it does get cold, I like to layer up a bunch of thinner layers instead of one or two thick layers. It does help you swing a little better. I've got like four layers on right now. So when you have that many layers on, it does get tough. You get a little tight. It's tar hard to make a full rotation. Sorry, my mouth is frozen. Yes, I don't even know how cold it is, but I can tell my phone is starting to glitch. So thankfully we're on the last hole. We're gonna get this in without the phone battery dying because it's dropping fast. Definitely not recommending to do this, but I do see a little gap right there to sting it through. Normally I just take like a nine or eight iron, hit it up over the trees for our layup. But I wanna have a little fun. Let's see if we can't sting it through that gap. I'm not sure how well you could see that. We were about six inches from hitting the tree, but we made it through. We accomplished our goal. Let's go make bird. Right on 100 yards left to a center pin. Let's knock it close. Sir, that's the way to end it. Let's go. I gotta work on picking up the ball out of the hole. There we go. That is how you want to end a round. Making bird on the last. Two under, two birds, seven pars. We'll take it. Also, on the layup back there with that punch, little stinger through the gap. I'm not recommending to do that ever. We were just having a little bit of fun. Take your medicine hit a uh, iron up and over or wedge up and over the trees make it easy on yourself it did work out there however we were pretty close to disaster we made it through made bird on the last very excited 34 for the nine holes two under definitely have some things to work on our wedges except for that last shot and our irons except for the shot on 17. we're not very good today i really need to hone those in a bit spend some time on the range kind of working out some struggles that I'm having at the moment. Hopefully when we get down to Florida, we're gonna be able to do that, get to swing in some short sleeves, won't have so many layers on, it'll be a little easier to really hone in those yardages and lines, cause we were not good on our lines on a lot of swings either. Hope y'all enjoyed the Arctic Chill 9 or Arctic 9, one of the two. Yes, I did. We ended strong. My hands are frozen. I can't feel my nose. We're ready to get into the car, turn that heater on. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe below, ring that bell, turn them notifications on. That's greatly appreciated. Also like this post and comment below what you would like to see in future content. And until next time, we'll see you when we see you.